Hello everyone and welcome back to another lecture of JavaScript. In this lecture, we will learn how to create an if statement inside another if statement. And we call this block nesting. Okay, so to start, let's create a very simple if statement. Let's type, for example, car equals to Mercedes. And here, let's create a variable car. Let's type equals Mercedes. And we could we can create another variable called car two equals Ferrari. Now I want to check if car is Mercedes and car two is Ferrari with if statements. And to do it I can create a if statement inside another if statement. So I can check everything in the same block. So we have the if statement parent. We can say it's a parent if statement here. Okay, the first one. And now here we can create the second one. And don't forget to indent. You can use either with the tab key two spaces and uh, make sure you always indent your code so it uh, becomes very clear for other coders or developers to read, okay? We call this a clean code. So make sure you indent your code. And uh, in the second if statement, you can type car2 equals... Ferrari. Now indent again two times. Now here you can type, let's use the window alert. And here um, the two variables have car or the two variables are cars. Okay. And you can type even the else statement here. And here let's type um, window alert. one of the variables is not a car, something like that. And you can also type the else statement here. And there is a way so you can lose yourself uh, or you can't lose track of where to put the else. If you click near the um, closing uh, curly bracket you see that is in red and the other one where it belongs um, the open curly bracket where it belongs it's in red as well okay so this is the else for this first statement here okay this one and this one sorry this one is for this one here okay i know it's uh, a beginning could be it can be a little bit confusing but you get used to it don't worry. And here, the else statement can be um, also window alert. Here, car variable is not Mercedes.
and let's change this instead of uh, the two variables are cars let's type um, car to variable is a Ferrari else car to variable it's not a Ferrari okay okay cool so let's save this and we can also type here as well um, if car one if car equals to Mercedes let's type uh, window alert car variable is uh, Mercedes let's check next variable okay so um basically what this will do is it will check if variable one is um indeed uh, mercedes and if it reads mercedes it will go on and it will show us a window alert and then it will check out the if condition car2 is equal ferrari and it will show us uh car2 variables of ferrari okay so in this case either uh, car variable is a Mercedes and car2 is a Ferrari so it will run uh, this here and this line of code here the the two else's will not run now to check this to, and to confirm it let's run this in Chrome okay and as you can see the car variable is a Mercedes let's check nest variable car2 is a Ferrari okay great it works perfectly now what about if we change this to uh, just a letter just uh, you take out a letter uh, S from Mercedes and what this will do is it will check if it's a Mercedes and this code will not run because already uh, the car variable is not Mercedes it's there is um, an S missing okay there is an S missing so it's not a Mercedes it will go down here and it will give us the else code or the else um, the else statement here window alert car variable is not a Mercedes so let it let me prove this and there it is okay so <clears throat> okay so this is how uh, you can uh, nest and how you can put variables sorry uh, if statements inside other if statements if you want to check more than one uh, condition okay um, in the same block so don't worry because later on you'll learn how to use this in more um, in a more useful way with uh, websites and um, other scripts okay see you guys later